Hey, David here. Uh, this Western style estate is the former residence of the Taiwanese artist Mr. Liu Qixiang. Born in 1910, Liu Qixiang was amongst the first Taiwanese artists to study abroad in Paris. Uh, despite passing away in 1998, his influence can still be felt in the Taiwanese art scene even today. Wow, this Western style estate is incredibly well renovated. David, why don't you show us around? The original structure of the Liu Qixiang Memorial Hall was finished in 1918. In 2018, which was last year, a renovation project was finished and this building was opened up to public. The renovation project took two years to complete. Besides some structural reinforcements, much of the elements in this building remain unchanged. For example, the tiles on the floor and the beams on the ceiling. Visiting the Liu Qixiang Memorial Hall allows you to appreciate the beauty of the architecture as well as the masterpieces of Liu Qixiang himself. This is the second floor of the Memorial Hall. The Memorial Hall is also an art gallery featuring the paintings of Liu Qixiang. Now these tiles on the floor had to be replaced during the renovation to reduce the load on the support beam. This is the painting of Liu Kunhuang, which is Liu Qixiang's father. It was of course painted by Liu Qixiang himself. Liu Kunhuang was the person in charge of the construction of this mansion. All the windows in this building feature an ingenious sliding mechanism. So when you let go, they stay put. And it doesn't matter where you let go. Wow, what a cool mechanism. This is a feature often found in traditional Japanese architecture. These chrysanthemum motifs are very similar to the seal of the Japanese royal family. They can be similar but not exactly the same. These bamboo structures in the walls are quintessentially Taiwanese, so despite the building looking a bit western, it's Taiwanese at heart. As we all know, Taiwan is a very seismically active zone. Uh, in fact, a few years after the completion of this building, it ran into a few earthquakes. So the Liu family had to uh, install these metal braces to uh, protect it from future earthquakes. A cup of coffee is necessary after the tour. Enjoy your coffee with David. The cafe and restaurant in front of the Liu Qixian Memorial itself um, used to be his painting studio. Right now, they offer up some fantastic coffee, complete with milk from Liu Ying. As we all know, Liu Ying has some of the best milk in all of Taiwan. Located next to the Liu Qixiang Memorial Hall, the former residence of the Liu family is now the ancestral hall of the Liu family. Adjacent to the Liu Qixiang Memorial Hall is a very different looking building. This building is the Liu family ancestral shrine. Now the Liu family can be considered as one of the most successful family in Tainan. 330 years and 13 generations later, the influence of the Liu family can still be felt throughout Taiwan. This estate really is quite large, judging by its two wings stretching from its main hall. While the Liu family have moved away, this place remains as their ancestral shrine. Just right outside of this estate, however, um, it's easy to find other houses and estates built by the Liu descendants. For example, the building of the Liu Qixiang Memorial Hall was built by its seventh descendant, who is uh, Liu Qixiang's father. A visit to this memorial hall allows you to appreciate two distinct styles of architecture. If craving for something to eat after the visit, you will be warmly welcomed by the traditional Taiwanese delicacies served at the roadside. 
Oh man, despite its very affordable price point, it definitely hits the spot. It really is a blessing to be able to walk through the halls of the Liu Qixiang Memorial Hall and the Liu Family Ancestral Shrine today. Um, in a way, it's kind of like being transported back in time and see how uh, people lived their lives in the past. Um, the next time you come to Liu Ying, besides checking out its fantastic dairy products, definitely give these old houses a visit. 